Well, hello, my name is Alan and I teach computer classes in Word, Excel, QuickBooks, Photoshop. In normal classroom instruction that's in person, I teach step by step so that the students can see the image of what I'm doing on my screen and they can follow performing the steps on their own monitor screen. In this normal classroom approach, my students all use the same school issued computers and they can all see the same image of my computer screen on a large classroom display. If there is any difficulty with the projection of my screen or with any student's computer, we can address the problem and solve it usually pretty quickly. However, when teaching through Zoom remotely, students run into difficulties because they're required not only to follow my steps to complete the exercises on their computer, but also on their own computer, they're trying to manage the display of my demonstration. What I encourage my students to do is to set up the Zoom application meeting window in a very specific way and in such a way that it displays on only half of their monitor screen. On the other 50% of their monitor screen, I recommend that they set up their own application window in which they'll be following my steps. I would like to now demonstrate and take you through the steps for how to achieve such a screen display. To do this, I'm going to join a class that's currently being held right now by my teacher, whose name also happens to be Alan. Okay, I'm going to click the Zoom meeting link from my email, and since the class is in progress, I should get there pretty quickly. Make sure you click to open Zoom meetings if the Zoom meeting doesn't automatically open up in a new window, you might have to click. Since the class is already in progress and since there is no waiting room, I'm in the class meeting Zoom window pretty quickly. First thing I like to do is to make sure that my video is turned off and that my audio is muted. But in order to set up my screen properly, my first step is to go up to the View Options menu and choose exit full screen. Now, if I don't see exit full screen, that means I'm not currently in full screen, but the fact that I see that option means that I am in full screen and I click to exit full screen. Another way to exit full screen is to press the escape key on the keyboard. Now, the window became a little smaller, but it's still not obvious to me that it's not full screen. One of the things you can do to check this is to click the title bar area. In this case, it's a gray bar along the top, and I can click, hold, and drag, which means that this window is not maximized or full screen. After exiting full screen, my next step is to go back up to the View Options menu and check the zoom ratio to make sure that it is set to fit to window. Fit to window will make sure that whatever size you make the Zoom meeting window on your computer, you'll always be seeing the largest image of whatever your instructor is sharing. Now that the Zoom meeting window is out of the full screen mode, I could move it manually by clicking the title bar and dragging it to the right and resizing it from the left towards the right, but there is a much easier way in Windows versions 7 through 10, there's a keyboard shortcut that will allow me to precisely snap the window to 50% of the screen size. If I hold the window key and press the right arrow, then I can get that Zoom meeting window to snap precisely to half of my monitor screen. On the left side, since I'm in Windows 10, I'm being shown the available windows other programs and other documents that might be open on my computer that I can make fit on the left side of my screen. I'm going to click the thumbnail for my Excel project and it will fit precisely on the left side of my screen. If I'm in Windows 7 and I use the same shortcut, I get almost the same result. The window still snaps to the right side of the screen but on the left side, I won't see thumbnails of all my available open windows. The solution, whether you're in Windows 7 or Windows 10, is to use the same keyboard shortcut, the Windows key and the left or the right arrow, 
to resize and reposition any window that you want to have access to. If I click on this electronic textbook that's in the background here to make it the active window, I can press the window key and press the left arrow. And now it is on the left side of my screen while the zoom window is on my right. Now previously I made the Excel window appear on the left side of my screen. If I navigate to that, it's still on the left side of my screen. I might want to make one more window fit on the left side of my screen, and that's the handout here called Excel Charting Basics. I'm going to do the same thing. It's the active window. I'm going to hold the window key, and I'm going to press the left arrow, and it snaps to the left side of my monitor. So whether I'm looking at the handout, my Excel worksheet, or the electronic textbook, I can always see the zoom window and what my instructor is doing on the right side of the screen. I can see that he's made some changes to his spreadsheet and I've fallen behind with a couple of the numbers. In B4, I'm going to put in the price $4.99 and $3.50 for the notebook. It looks like he's entering something for the pencils right now. It looks like he's entering 99 cents. And so I will enter 99 inside the cell for the pencils. And finally, it looks like he's going to put in a price for lunchbox. There he goes. And I'll go ahead and put in my price for the lunchbox as well. I'd like to review with you those steps to set up your Zoom and application windows. Step one, exit full screen by pressing escape or by going to the View Options menu and choosing Exit Full Screen. Step two, go to View Options again and set the zoom ratio to Fit to Window. Step three, press the Windows key on the keyboard and the right or left navigational arrow to set the zoom meeting window to the right or left side of your screen. Step four, you'll see thumbnails of available windows that are open on your computer like handouts and textbooks, click the thumbnail of the one that you want to see on the other side of your monitor screen. Now in Windows 7 you won't be able to do step 4, you'll proceed to step 5. Step 5 is to go to any window that you want to be able to access during the class meeting and using the window key and the left or right navigational arrows to place them behind your application window. This way the zoom window is always open on one side of your screen and your application window is available on the other half of your screen and you can easily navigate to any of the other resources that you want to see during class. I hope you found this tutorial video helpful and I hope you'll now be more successful in your step-by-step -step computer classes. Thanks for watching.